Sports tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's always, guys, listen, it's always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa on the show tonight. Uh, you know that Africa's best 11 that calf released? Uh-huh. It has put social media on fire. It's burning. And you know why? No Nigerian player. No, 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 football fans in Nigeria. Oh, the brother just thinks, what's going on, Calf? You mean we don't have a player in Nigeria that can be in that starting level? That discussion and all of the reactions that came out of the 2018 Calf Awards will get our attention on the show tonight. In fact, Super Eagles player John Ogu took it personal. He called names. Uh-huh. He said, I want to know Calf now and look at the midfield now. You mean Wilfred Ndidi, Calf? Wilfred Ndidi cannot make it. Uh, another session, they, they don't even care about the Calf 11. There is that part that they say legend. So I so, said, so, wait a minute, Calf. So you mean that you can pull more Salah into the African legends and Austin JJ or Kocha is not there? I said, come on, come on, Calf is not serious. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Walk with us on this journey. Also, I will take a look at what went down on the final day of the NNL Super 8. Let me tell you this story. Information that you can use. Bendel Insurance, Remo Stars. Kada City and Gombe United, they have been promoted to the Nigeria Professional Football League. Abandoned Insurance, arguably, are one of the teams with the most following in those, food, in those four clubs. Um, they were flawless. Three victories, didn't concede a goal. And so everyone is beginning to talk about Abandoned Insurance. Are they back with a bang? Are they going to uh, renew the old uh, glories of Abandoned Insurance that we know? Football is beautiful. We're excited uh, that those teams have been promoted. The NLL is done now, so we are waiting uh, for the start of the new season. But the more information as we get into that segment that we will tell you as regards the Nigeria Professional Football League. I love the story coming out of it. We will tell you also what's going down in the EFL Cup. You know what happened yesterday, second semi-final. Uh, we will go down tonight. We will tell you all of the updates coming out of it so much. It's going down in our beautiful, exciting, money spinning, exciting, racy, pasty world of sports. What are you talking about? I know you're talking about something because every time, every time something is going down in our world of sports, be part of the program tonight. It's so beautiful where you get involved. I love it because that's when we start talking sports. Talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels hyphen sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. All our top stories can be viewed on our website channelstv.com and on YouTube forward slash channels web. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you should be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see right there. I follow the instructions. Log on to m.channelstv.com. Download the app. And if you love sports, wherever you are, everybody if you're driving, no, you, you got to give me one represent attention. Uh, if you're cooking, give me one represent attention. But, but if you're free, you're relaxing, you want to talk sports, then walk with us on this journey. That's it right there. Sports Tonight on your award-winning, sports-loving channels, television, wherever you are in the world. I invite you to the Fun Factory uh, where we do nothing but talk sports and we do it for the love of the game. Uh, it's a Wednesday night. Joseph Mukuzi uh, makes a return to the show. It's the first time I'm seeing you in 2019. So, Happy New Year, Joseph. Same to you. Same to you, Austin. Mm. Wonderful to be back in the show. And also very excited about Bendel Assurance. Mm. You know, getting promotion after 11 years. Ooh. A certain Charles Mokari was on target. Look at that. I understand he was also part of the team 11 years ago. Don't ask me of his age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so excited yeah. that they are back. Finally, Ubemudia Stadium will host mm. an MPL for a game. The, governor, the government of uh, Edo State have been very, very massive. The, uh, the, the, the deputy governor is actually registered as a player in, the, in this competition. <laughs> so you can imagine the level of enthusiasm and excitement. I'm so happy for mm. them. And of course, Kada City as well, and uh, Gumbe. United. Yeah, and Remo, Remo Stars. Stars. You know, it's yeah. good to have a private team, yeah. you know, a privately owned team back. I would have loved shooting, you know, uh, but it's so sad. But it's so sad. Maybe next time out, they'll, they'll try. But so excited that Bendel Insurance is back in the That's April. right. That's the start reality. They're actually trending on social media, Bendel Insurance. Inyobong Monday was here last week, Wednesday. He's back again. Inyobong, it's good to have you on the show. Good to be here, Austin, and good for Bendel Insurance. Yeah. Good old club. Very yeah. famous um, old club in, in Nigeria with a lot of tradition. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be Toby Adekpoju at the moment because <laughs> <laughs> shooting stars. Um, oh, but they're good to They are a lot of them. Mm. 
I, I, f I really feel for them because, you know, Shooting Stars fans were buzzing. They were absolutely yeah. buzzing with delight and hoping that they would get a chance to be in the MPFL again. And so one, one of my friends, Amazi, was talking about the fact that they are going to be back in the big time and maybe they are going to lure the, the Miracle Walker from Rangers back to, to Ibadan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it, all, all that dream, you know, j j just went away. But good to have Rangers back. Good to have Remo Stars back yeah. because... Remember Remo Stars a couple of seasons ago? They were mm -hmm. playing the best of football. Yeah. They were playing some really entertaining football, but they just had one problem. They were leaking goals. Mm. Too many of them. So oh, no. let's hope that it will be a, a different kettle of fish for them this season. The MPFL, starting on Sunday, were absolutely excited about it, and we're looking forward to the games. That's right. We're looking forward to uh, the games, but the, um, the league management company, they have announced that the teams that have been promoted will be kept out of those opening games. You know, say so they need to rest and all of that. We'll give you more information on the show tonight. Um, just mention that um, the deputy governor of Edo State was part of the team for the NNL, yes, but uh, uh, honorable, your time ends now. <laughs> <laughs> Back, back to State House. <laughs> because, because they were saying, well, this is serious business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put that out. Let's get on with the show now. Talk about the 2018 CAF Awards. Did you like what went down? Yes, Mo Salah uh, retained his title as the best player in Africa. Yeah, that person said, oh, well deserved. Yeah, uh, he's been playing good football. But Christiana Gatlana defeated Assista Toshola and Francisca Odega, of course, Super Falcons players, to win the Women's Player of the Year. Yeah, well, Joseph, you, you're close by. Mo Salah mm. once again. Did he get you talking? No, very well deserved. I mean, uh, last season, it was phenomenal. Even this season, it's been massive. Scoring over 10 goals this season. Scored about 43 goals last season. I went to the World Cup, scored twice, you know, and uh, fantastic season. You know, everybody saw this one coming. I mean, it was obvious. Coming one of the top four players ever to win it twice. Etu has done it. Yaya Toure has done it as well. He's done it as well. And uh, with what he has and what he's been able to show us this season, it shows that he's, he's also a major candidate for next season. So And now they are hosting the, the Nations Cup, so you can imagine what will happen. So Mo Salah definitely deserve it. I, was, no, I wasn't shocked at all. And uh, other, 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 t other uh, players as well, Mane deserves to be second place. And Obama and Todd. I, I mean, it, it's obvious that he was going to win it. Mm, so that's it. Mo Salah. Uh, retaining his title. Um, any, any surprises? No, no surprises whatsoever. Um, what's kept secret in my opinion? Because <laughs> you, you, you look at Mo Salah and what he was able to achieve with Liverpool last season was unbelievable. A monster season, scoring 44 goals. Only one man has been able to score more goals than, than Mo Salah in one season. That's a great Ian Rush. And I thought he was super, super, um, um, very influential for the Liverpool side. That, that qualified for the Champions League and got to the Champions League final last term. And no question about his ability, no question about his commitment. And to see him get that gong again was great. It was quite refreshing because yeah. he's been the best African player in the past two years. Mm. And, and I'm not afraid to say that. Uh, seeing him win that, I'm sure maybe Mane, deep inside his heart, would have a different opinion, would think uh, maybe I deserve to be, up, to, to be up there as well. But... Mane second, Salah first, just to deserve it. And Obama Young coming in third position was great. He didn't come for the awards yeah. tonight, but yeah. I, I thought Salah looked really smart. I, yeah. I thought he looked he looked perfect for the occasion. And maybe yeah. a, a little birdie had told him, you're going to take this one? Yeah. And also gradually becoming a good model for African football. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get to hear about, you know, those things we hear about some top players, focused, business-oriented, you know, gets to the pitch and does the work. Mo Salah, uh, once again, um, is the winner of the 2018 uh, CAF Player of the Year Award. Let's listen to uh, Mo Salah. He's been reacting after winning the title again. Honestly, I'm very happy to win it for the second time. And, you know, I said before, even I said in the speech there, like, when I was young, I always had a dream to win this award. Now I win it twice, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I always do my best to, uh, to perform better. I always see myself in better position. I know it's going to, it's always difficult when you win an award, like African Player of the Year. Like, last year, it was like too much pressure after I won it. Everyone say he's not going to win it again. So I put in my mind that, I have to be here again this year. So I'm happy to win second time. And yes, um, I'm very proud about that. I'm not complaining about the position, but something just pushed me more to work hard as much as I can to be again here next year.
So that's it, most Salah. Uh, it's just no pressure. Uh, some persons were like, are you going to win it again? Uh, we watched you did last season. Uh, when the season started, particularly as an African, I was gutted when that injury came, yeah. you know, for so Mo Salah. You know, I, I know you have to name that. <laughs> uh, and he went to the World Cup, stayed focused. As you know, says, got two goals. World Cup over, came back. Of course, human beings, we want more. So if you score 50 last season, we don't care. This season is cost 65. Yeah. Mm. You know, so there was... Pressure. But I think I like the way Mo Salah handled it and is beginning to get into his rhythm again. Uh, Egypt has been named the host for yeah. the 2019 AFCON. You think this is good motivation yeah, for him? Absolutely. You know, there was something he said at the end of the interview. He said to be here next year. Hmm. So he's looking at next year winning it again. So he's really, really ready. He's fired up. I mean, Liverpool did not attain, they didn't win anything last season. I mean, it's, it's, they would want to win the Champions League or the league this season. So he's definitely fired up. And uh, they're hosting the Nations Cup. They're hosting to win. The last time they lost to Cameroon in the final, you know, after being away for up to three, you know, consecutive editions. Mm. So the, the, definitely there is something to achieve that he wants to, I mean, he wants to win it again. He, he wants to ensure that, you know, going to the Nations Cup, as they are hosting, they want to win it. It's something that Egypt would so much love to win. The, the winning the, this, the, uh, this uh, particular award definitely... Neil Bong, you know, for, for African football, the award's beginning to get its bite once mm. again because he's saying that... Everybody's looking forward to win it. And he said, look, he can win it again. That way, this can actually push our players, particularly Super English players, <laughs> to start going for that gong again. Alexi Wobi was, was nominated into the top 10. And, and I'm certain that somewhere in his head, he will be, he will be motiva motivated. He will be fired up mm. to want to get into the top three because it's something that is possible. You've got to get to that level of consistency because you're looking at Mane, you're looking at Salah, you're looking at Aubameyang, and the kind of consistency they've shown over the past two years and over the years um, that they've been able to stay on top of their game. It's something mm. that consistency um, is key. So our players, I'm, I'm very certain, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at it and I'm feeling very, very embarrassed that, you know, the last time in Nigeria was even nominated in the top three was, I think, 2014 or 2014 when Vincent Nyama yeah. was, was in the mix. So yeah. you're, you're looking at our players and the level of motivation that this kind of, of competition, this kind of awards will give to them for the fact that they were not even in the top three, they have only ni one Nigerian award on the night, you know, so quite embarrassing in my opinion, mm. but it, it's wonderful to, to see African players at the peak of their powers. Yeah. You're looking at, they, they could have been Kalidou Kolibali in that top three. Mm -hmm. they, they, could have, they could have been maybe Thomas Partey in that top three. They, they, a few more African players were doing great with the European clubs, but also, not losing sight of the fact that you take into consideration what you do for the national team. That's so what it's, it is. It, it, it's, it's something yeah. that I think Cav at some point will need to find the balance because it does look like the concentration in what you do is, is what uh, you yeah, do in Europe, club, what you do yeah. at club level. So they've got to also take into consideration, particularly the next award will be interesting because it's a, it's a, it's a AFCON year. Yeah. So whatever you do at the AFCON will be very pivotal, will be instrumental to, to, to what you're going to achieve at the end yeah. of the year. So great one. Congratulations to Salah. And yeah. I'm very certain he will be in the top three next year. No doubt. Yeah. He will be. And I'm trying to... Um, imagine the Super Eagles players in a group and they're chatting about this thing and the time they watch the show, they're like, uh, and then maybe Mikel or someone that leads the team say, okay, she's an Afghan year. Let's win it as well, they will say. <laughs> but then you have to win something at club level as well. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. No, but, but let's say they are all brilliant mm -hmm. in a calf yeah, year. Probably, yeah. You know, uh, so uh, all of us will come and ask, after. Is it that you don't want to grow the Afcon? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But but then I get what you guys are saying. It's what you saw you reap. Yeah. Nigeria has missed out of the Afcon for the last two editions. And, you know, we don't want to go back to those years that we had to put our football into the states of emergency. But it is what it is. Mo Salah retained his uh, Calf Player of the Year award. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll break down all these on the night. Don't go anywhere. Stay.